Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of USDJPY and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of USDJPY. When we did that analysis, the market was here this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Okay, the market was here and we did say that we expect the market to buy more. And of course, you can see that's exactly what happened. The market on Monday, the market ended as a doji. Tuesday, <coughs> Tuesday, another doji. Then Wednesday, Thursday, bought and Friday was a doji. So if you were able to um, get in on that, although the market did not attend at CP and there was no more volume in USDJPY, but it still went bullish. So if you were able to get in on that, I want to say congratulations to you. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see USDJPY has been buying for quite a while. It met this all-time high. I think that was three years ago or two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Then it sold this much and got to this support region and started buying and bought up till this region. It retested the all-time high here, then started selling. And when it got here, we saw bullish rejection. And when it started buying, we did expect it to stop buying somewhere around here, but it kept buying until um, the close of the time frame. So when we saw the way the market ended, we did say that the next month, which is the month of February, will be bullish. And you can see that's exactly what has happened. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see um, after the market bought this much, got to retested the all time high here, then started selling, so down to this region, we saw bullish rejection or yeah, bullish move, and it has been buying after since that time. And um, last week ended as a small bullish candle. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see the market has just been buying consistently up to where it is right now. So Friday ended as the doji. Now let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, we can see the market has been buying from here. At this region, we started seeing um, bearish rejection, so the and but or let's say the market has just been ranging around here. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Now pay attention. Um, there's something about trading that I need us to know. There is no need to be sentimental or emotional about the market. It will always do what it has to do. And I told us last week that the market will keep buying. And of course, many people disputed that. And you can see that's what has happened. The market moves from one region to another. Once a particular region is broken, expect the market in the next region. That's a fact. So from the time we saw this region broken, which was when the market closed above it, and we saw bearish rejection, then we saw this bullish candle, which means it's retesting this region. The next thing to expect is that the market is coming this much. Even though the RSI has gotten to the overbought region, which of course at that time we should expect the market to sell but that's not what the chart is presenting also be beyond that i've told us in i think the last two or three videos that jpy is currently weak the fundamentals of jpy is weak at the moment japanese um economy is not strong at the moment so jpy is selling or is falling and every currency paired with JPY will be buying. That's exactly what's happening. So even though we can see that the RSI had gotten to the overbought region here, 
the monthly time frame, the RSI got to the overbought region before we started selling. The weekly time frame, I think the RSI got to the overbought. Okay, it's pretty close to the overbought region. On the daily time frame, it's also pretty close to the overbought region. We can see that the market has been buying for a long time. So it's, of course, we could expect the market to sell, but having bought this much, we just have to expect it to retest this all-time high before it sells again. Are we together? So, also, also I'd like to tell us that having seen the way the weekly time frame ended, look here. Look at how the weekly time frame ended as a small bullish candle. It means that we start experiencing diminishing bullish pressure. Like we had from here. Look at this region. From here, we started seeing small bullish candles. Here you can see the candles are small before it finally got to the all-time high. I believe that's what's going to happen here. It will, there's possibility that this week, which we are, the markets will attend the all-time high, or we could have another small bullish candle, then the next week another small bullish candle is possible. But what I'm sure of is that this all-time high will be retested before um anything whether if the market will sell it will make signs to sell if not it will buy more so um this week we are still expecting the markets to buy and if this month end as a healthy bullish candle without an upper week there's possibility that it will buy more before it will sell so for now i'm not even calling a sell for usdjpy for now i'm not calling a sell for usdjpy there is bullish pressure in the market um jpy is weak and we just have to follow that we just have to trade what the market is presenting to us and not what we expect it to be so until we see clear signs like we had here like a double top a, a head and shoulder pattern until we see something very significant on the daily time frame we will not consider a sell so for now we're still going bullish so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to save you better than risking your heart and money something you fully understand if you want to get our forex course which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market it covers beginners to advanced lessons it has 30 videos and three ebooks including my book trading without tears i strongly recommend this course for anybody who's just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market so if you want to get this course check the description of this video and you're going to see a link where you can get our forex course and if you want to subscribe for a signal service will give proper entry stop loss and take profit Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.